Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler where every day is a train show. I hope everyone had a fantastic Thanksgiving and I got a little fitness tip for you. If you're having some trouble fitting into your pants because you put on a couple of LBs, well, just get bigger pants. Problem solved. Alright, we have a bunch of different items that we have coming here today that hopefully will find their way on your layout. And let's get started. We're going all the way to HO to check out some new rolling stock. As you can see here, I have these 72 foot center beam flat cars from my Walthers. And if you take a look at these bad boys, you can see that these are really cool looking cars here. A lot of us like the model cars that we see on the rails today. And these are a great representation of that. Now I got two different variations. I got the ones that have the slats going down the middle. And then I have the ones that have a little bit more bulk to them. I don't know the exact technical term, but I'm sure someone out there in YouTube land will, so put it in the comments section. I have a whole bunch of different row names and colors, Union Pacific, Cascade, Burlington Northern. I had a Southern, and actually we just sold out of the Southern, so Southern fans, sorry, but I'm out of Southern. But I have a couple of different extra ones here in the boxes as well, TTX, CSX, I have a whole bunch of these different cars. These are really great looking cars here. They have die-cast metal wheels, as you can see there. And just the detailing on these cars, especially with all the different writing, if you take a look at the writing that is involved there, you can see how much effort it is to go to put these things together. I love the uh, car may fall over bin. So that, I mean, this is just really cool stuff happening here. So if you're looking some, for some really neat looking cars here, again, the modern, some uh, modern freight cars, I think this is what you are looking for on your layout. So these are just some great cars. I think you're really going to enjoy them. I mean, just take a look at this Union Pacific one that I have here. This is the amount of detailing of the colors and everything that goes along with these. I think you're really going to like these cars. Now they retail here for $31.98, but we're selling them in Yankee Dabbler for $25.99. That's a great deal to get on a high quality car. Get a whole bunch of them, make a nice long unit train of center beam flat cars. I think you're really gonna like them. So all aboard, hopefully to your layout. All right, so I know some of you are looking for some brand new motive power to pull some of those cars on your layout, and I have an engine for you from Walther's. It's not a new model, but it's definitely a goodie. Check out this Norfolk Southern EMD F7. If you take a look here at the camera focuses, check out that puppy there. That is a great looking diesel locomotive. Now, and of course, this is for when the Norfolk Southern was having diesel excursions pulling on their uh, on their uh, line. They don't do it anymore. They actually sold these engines. Uh, but this is a great representation of what this model looked like when the Norfolk Southern pulled those excursion trains. So just like we did like to do on the channel, or really just because I like to play with trains, we're going to put it on the track and we're going to hear what it sounds like. So let's go. All right, let's start her up and see what she sounds like. All aboard. Here is the horn. Here is the bell, as you heard. And away we go. Let's start going backwards today. Outstanding. 
All right, so as you can see, that is a great Sandy Diesel locomotive. And if you still want to see these in person, even though the Norfolk Southern doesn't have them anymore, uh, they actually sold them to two railroads. One's near our store at the Reading and Northern Railroad. And the other one, and I want to get this correctly, has been sold to the Aberdeen, Carolina, and Western Railroad. Railroad. The uh, Reading and Northern paint, there's in their Marlboro paint scheme. So it kind of looks like a pack of Marlboro cigarettes. Where the other one is actually in a very flamboyant kind of purple and yellow color. So there's a really interesting design that they went with there and of course we've actually seen the Reading and Northern F units on our show but just in case you missed that video here's one for you to check out All right, so these diesel locomotives are selling for $199.99, but we're here at Yankee Dabbler selling them for $149.99. It's a great deal for a great looking locomotive. I always love the S-Style units, and I think it is a great addition to add to your fleet. As a matter of fact, even though it's technically considered to be a passenger engine, I think I'm going to like these pulling the center beam uh, flat cars. Hmm. Let's go. So I'm starting to work on my Christmas list here. I had my family and everything uh, put they want. Let's see, uh, my wife wants some jewelry. Thank you. Or perhaps I said it wrong and she's getting track bed instead. Okay, great. Let's see, mom wants a sweater. Ooh, sweater, cold trestle, it's like the same thing. Oh man, I'm going to be the hit of Christmas this year. <laughs> All right, hey, speaking of Christmas, we actually have a really cool product that we're going to take a look at in the O-Gage world. So we're going to get lit taking a look at this car. And I wasn't kidding getting lit taking a look at this O-Scale Christmas box car for my Atlas. And as you can see, this is a really cool design here. As you can see, I have lights going all around the perimeter of this car here. It's on both sides there. And how cool is that? I mean, everyone loves lights going around uh, Christmas time and you putting them on their train and that is just gonna look great. Now, this is very similar to the HO Halloween cars that we took a look at. And they actually do have an HO and N-Scale version that we don't have them yet, but we hope to get them really soon. These are just really cool looking cars here. The O-Scale is the only one here that does light up. And as you can see, I have that graffiti style of writing there with Santa Claus and an elf. I think this is a really cool car to have on your consoles. So if you're looking for an O-Scale Christmas car this year, a scale car, mind you, I think this is the one that you should go for. That is a really cool looking car. Now, the retail value for that car is actually $99.99. We're selling them a Yankee Dabbler for $89.99. And believe it or not, that is the last one that we have left. So if you are interested in that O-Scale Christmas box car, please go to yankeedabbler.com, get that on your layout so you can celebrate the holiday season the best way that we know how, with trains. But you might be thinking, what could I pull that boxcar with? Well, I have a really neat action set that I wanted us to take a look at, and we're gonna do it again via the Bluetooth app on my phone. I'm gonna show you how we work this so we can get a Lionel 
army set here for you to check out. All right, so this particular set that we have here actually does operate via Bluetooth. So I have my app here. What I gotta do is I'm gonna go to my locomotive and it has the army engine already put there. I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna hit add. And now all of a sudden my engine has come to life. I have the whistle. I have the bell. I have announcement features. This is US 4520. Let's get prepped and ready to complete our next assignment. And I have my throttle. How cool is that? And again, this is via my Bluetooth app. So you can operate a really cool line L set like this one. The Lionel U.S. Army train set. As you can see here, I have a ton of play features happening on the set. Of course, if you have someone that is in the military and you want to commemorate their service with a train set, this is the way to go. But I got a couple of really cool cars here. For example, I got the Fort Knox Bullion Transport car, and that is this really cool. As you can see there, I have a whole bunch of gold inside of there. Better keep that away from Goldfinger. I have here a flag card that has a tank on it, and believe it or not, that tank does come off. And that is a really cool uh, little addition to add to my flag card there. And then, with a rotating beacon, I have this kind of uh, army caboose here that is complete with a rotating beacon, as well as a machine gun turret that rotates. So nothing says Christmas time like a rotating machine gun turret, right? But this is just a tremendously cool set. As you can see here, I have a ton of animation, a ton of play factors happening here. And it is all available from this Lionel set here. Again, uh, it operates with the Bluetooth app. It does also have a remote control, so you can run it that way. As you can see, there's a, there's a tremendous amount of play value happening with this set here. The engine does smoke. It has a headlight. As you can see, the light with the rotating beacon. As well as it comes with an oval of Lionel Fast Track. So if you want to put something quick and easy on the floor, maybe sell it around that Christmas tree, or you already have a O-scale layer that you want to add on to it, you can definitely do that. Now, the retail value for this set is $399.99. We're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $369.99. That's a really good deal to have on this set, especially because all the rolling stock has die-cast metal couplers and spring-loaded trucks. So I think this is a really neat set to have. Hey, do you think it sounds too loud? Well, check it out. I can actually get rid of the volume using my uh, Bluetooth app. How cool is that? There's just so many great things. Lined up does a great job with the innovations with those sounds and everything. Well, unfortunately, it is time to get going here. So I got some traffic going that way. So let's go reverse. All aboard. Safe trails, folks. We salute you. Let's see, my dad wants a new phone. Or we can get a Zephyr. There you are, unlimited calls, right? Yeah. Oh man, I got a beast Christmas this year. All right, so anyway, we have a whole bunch of, we take a look at a whole bunch of uh, trains, but we don't necessarily take a look at track. And I wanna let you know, at Yankee Dabbler, we have everything that you need to get your layout started. So even if you're a beginner, or if you are a well-advanced person, we have a whole bunch of different uh, things. I want to showcase a couple of things here that we do have uh, here in stock for our NHO and O scalers. A lot of us like to put something around that Christmas tree, but you need something that has a little bit of a roadbed or a base to it. And I think the Lionel Fast Track or the Bachman Easy Tracks are the way to go. We have them on our website, yankeedabbler.com. We actually have various different multi-packs. We got track packs. We got switches. We got everything that you would need to get uh, up and running for this holiday season. So check those out at yankeedabbler.com. And another track item that you might necessarily need is you might have a layout where you need to rotate engines. Well, check out this guy because we just got in the 130-foot motorized turntable. I'll wait for your gasps to stop. Okay, so anyway, if you take a look here, this these were out of stock for a while, but we got them back in. We have a couple of different sizes for the turntables, but I know the 130 is a very popular one, especially if any of you have those really big articulated engines that you need turning around. The retail 
value for that uh, turntable there is 359.98 but we're selling them here at yankee dabbler for 287.98 get those turntables on your layout before they are gone because these things go you know they're they're selling like something that sells a lot hotcakes although i don't know is that really the best thing to use they're selling like zephyrs as you can see, the pile's diminishing. Get yours if you don't have one. But anyway, uh, get these uh, turntables on your layout today before they're out of stock. Last time we were here, we took a look at some new Broadway Limited N-Scale SD40-2s. And I said there was a second wave coming in. Well, here they are, and we have a different variation for us to check out. So let's take a look at them. And here they are, the new Broadway Limited SD40-2s, the second wave. And if you take a look at these engines, I have a bunch of different high hood models. As you can see here, I have four different road names that we didn't take a look at last time. I had the Southern, and what a great looking paint scheme that is. I have the Norfolk Southern, and again, another high hood one. And that's a really cool looking diesel locomotive. This isn't necessarily the most colorful bunch. We got the Norfolk and Western, another high hood model. And then rounding it up, we have a more traditional low nose version of this uh, uh, Union Pacific. Now, again, these engines did tremendously well last time we showed them on the video. A lot of people like these engines, and this is the second wave. So if you haven't already gotten yours, or there was a road name that you were waiting for, maybe this one fits the bill. I want to check out the Southern one for a second. As you can see, this all the detailing that goes into that engine. This one actually has dual horns. As you see, I have a horn on either side there. And I didn't really showcase this last time, but every single one of these engines does have ditch lights so if you take a look right there as you can see i do have the ditch lights on each one of these models here they're very small but they're there and when that horn uh, blows those ditch lights do oscillate so that is a very cool looking uh feature to have on these engines so just like last time we ran them around we're gonna do it again Is the horn the bell I got blow that horn again because if you take a look at the ditch lights, you're going to see that they do rotate when I blow that horn. How awesome is that? Alright, let's get it going, shall we? These are great diesel locomotives I have, and especially if you're an end scaler and you're looking for something to model that sounds pretty accurate to the real thing, I think these are the engines for you. They retail for $259.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $207.99. I feel like a broken record, but again, it is a great deal to have for a really nice looking engine. Just the amount of detail that goes into these Broadway Limited engines is a really good. They're second to none, and I think you're really going to love having these engines. Or maybe one of the high hood versions that we took a look at today. Or one of the previous ones that we looked at in our last video. So, we think we have an SD40-2 for everyone. So, come check them out because you're really going to like them. Hmm. As a matter of fact, I think that's what Grandma wants. She said cookware, but I think that rhymes with SD40. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm beasting Christmas this year. I want to thank everyone for watching today's show, What's New at Yankee Dabbler, where, of course, every day is a train show. And I want to make sure that if you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button to Engineer Hall's channel. You get caught up on all the videos that we have done and all the videos that we are going to do in the future. You know, to be honest, it's just me. You're going to get caught up on me. There's no other reason to subscribe. 
At least that's what my mom's telling me. Anyway, make sure you hit that subscribe button and get caught up on all the things that we're doing. And, of course, all these items that we took a look at and much more can be found at YankeeDabbler.com. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you are all finding uh, what we're looking for this holiday season. And we're going to conclude this week's episode with a Railfan video. We're going to go all the way to the Galitzin Tunnel. We're going to see one of those Norfolk Southern trains go through. I think you're really going to enjoy it for our modern diesel fans. So until next time, take care, everyone. And if you excuse me, i got to think of more gifts than I can give people. Let's see. Ooh, okay. This looks good. Get one of these. Get, oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay, we're going good. You know what? I'm taking this, too. I don't care. Taking these. Ooh, more trains. Look at that.